Let's start with Burger King's Chocolate Whopper. Mm. So the Chocolate Whopper featured a chocolate cake bun, a char-grilled chocolate patty topped with raspberry sauce, white chocolate rings, and candied blood oranges. Can that I sounds say, disgusting. Can I say, though, it looks like it would be a great dessert. You know what? I'm not going to lie. True. I'm down with it. I would eat it. Me too. Wait, you don't, you're not a fan of Lisa? Uh, well, I don't like chocolate cake, so you start oh, right there. What? I know, I know, I know. But so Wait a second. Starting there, I can't do <clears throat> that. That should have been the lead. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. Who doesn't you don't like, chocolate, like cake? chocolate cake? I don't like chocolate cake, no. Why? I don't know, but I love chocolate candy. So Buck's yelling from the back and supported me that he doesn't like chocolate cake. Really? Either. I like chocolate candy. The cake is like, but I do like brownies. It doesn't that doesn't make don't, any don't sense. Try, okay. Don't try to make sense of it. We, we need, we need to have out. a long talk about this <laughs> later on. <laughs> well, some of these pranks are more cute than funny, but companies really did spend some money on April Fools. Here's a look at Roku's streaming socks. Huh? Roku devices. Introducing Roku Happy Streaming Socks. Roku Happy Streaming Socks are engineered to spread happiness. Motion sensors allow you to swipe your foot to browse your home screen. Tap your toe to select and click your heels to play. You can even use the wiggle toes command to access free entertainment like that on the Roku channel. Roku happy streaming. So I want these, like That's I want these right. to be a real thing. Uh -huh. I'm always cold, so I like like cold lounging feet. That's uh -huh. me, I want yes. the socks. And then to be able to click your feet to play. That's and when fantastic. you're just too exhausted to pick up the phone or the remote to, to chant, to program. Yeah. I can just see myself waving my foot violently though, because it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> waving my foot, trying to make it work. Those are awesome. Some of these April so Fool's like pranks, I think these businesses need to do them. Like this one, you've heard of 23andMe, of course. You can send in a DNA swab mm -hmm. and they send you a report on your heritage. Big thing right now. Well, Lexus says it's now using your DNA to design your perfect uh. car. Within 48 hours, your handcrafted Lexus will be delivered to your driveway. Based on your chromosomes, everything from the model, styling, and performance capabilities will be crafted exclusively for you. Inspired by your favorite scent, a genetically personalized new car smell. If your DNA markers reveal a susceptibility to freckling, protective UV tinting. Even an enhanced windshield matched to your personal prescription. Genetically predisposed to high caffeine consumption, enlarged cup holders. And best of all, operating your vehicle no longer requires a key. <laughs> that, that is, is so, so gross. Good. Wait, I, I was know. sold until you had to lick your steering wheel. <laughs> is it uh, programmed to my bank account to be more affordable? That's right. What I know. It, the uh, total credibility with the uh, British voice. <laughs> right. You know? I mean, it really came across as a real, a real ad. <laughs> that right until the very end. Right to the end. Licking the steering wheel to go. Uh, hey, I could never find my keys. There we there. go. Oh, <laughs> lick the steering wheel and go. Goodness <laughs> gracious. Oh my God. <laughs> well, look at this one. It's the newest recruit for the Shirts Police Department in Texas. They call oh. him Crosshair and say yeah. his size lets him go into confined spaces for searches. Cute. Little police bunny. That's funny. <laughs> I love it. Now, a couple jokes here in Ohio. First, driving to Putten Bay, they put out a report that a tunnel under Lake Erie is now open, <laughs> whether you drive from Port Clinton to no the resort kidding. island. That's a good one. That's right. a good one. Great. And then Mikey's Late Night Slice, they said they were buying the old Dick's Sporting Goods at Easton to house the largest restaurant in the world. You know that big empty building? Yeah. Yes. Mike McCarthy fell for that one. He, he did. did fall for it. He sent us an email this morning. Hey, guys, heads up. He, he wanted to do a story on it. He thought it was so good. <laughs> oh, sorry. You got to go to the small Mikey's Late Night right. Slice. But hey, that's a good idea to put a Dick's Sporting Goods. Change that yes. to a restaurant. Sure. 80,000 square feet. Yeah, that's I fall a lot for the of pizza. April Fool's jokes all the time. Too cute. Those were good. Yeah, I love those. That was fun. All right. Thanks, Elisa.